Are you kidding me? Now Franklin's been invited? Dude, Charlie Brown doesn't know how to cook Thanksgiving dinner. What are they thinking? Oh, hi everyone. Just uh, <clears throat> reading some very important comic books and getting ready for my next big cartoon lecture. Today, we're gonna be drawing one of Charlie Brown's very special friends, Franklin. Now, before we get started, you're gonna need a few art supplies that you probably got laying around your house. First, you're just gonna need a sheet of blank paper, one of my favorite playthings when I was a child. And second, you're gonna need one of these, a pencil. I recommend you use a soft lead. There'll be a number two on your pencil to show that. And also, anytime while I'm drawing, you think I'm going a little too fast or you get confused, the beauty of our videos, you can always pause them. You can back it up, watch a step you may have missed. You can even freeze frame the image right on screen and draw right from it. Well, I think that's it. It's time to draw some Franklin here, people. Pencils up, it's officially cartoon time. All right, cartoon fans, let's draw a little Franklin. Step number one, in the center of your paper, lightly, and that's the key word to sketching, Lightly sketch in a circle that's about as big as an orange. There we go. Lower him down just a little bit here. I'm going to draw some hair in a moment. Now, the whole trick here is that you're not writing a letter O. You're building a circle. In fact, if you look at what I've done here, all I've done is sketch in curved lines. Every time I'm touching the paper, it's a curve. Then I'm blending it together with another curve to build and shape this. Imagine you're sculpting, you're carving, you're shaping, you're not writing. All right, so we got a circle or something round in the middle of our paper. Step number two, I'm going to add some guidelines. This is going to make this a lot easier, people. From the top of Franklin's head to the bottom, very lightly, I'm going to divide this in half. This tells me as an artist, this is the front facing side of our shape. He's looking right out at all of you. I'm also going to go right to left with another guideline. This one goes right to left. Basically, we're just putting a plus sign on here. What this really does is it shows us where the center of the shape is. That'll make it easier to get his features in the right spot. Plus, we now have four smaller spaces to work with instead of one big one. All right, let's get some features going. First one I like to draw is the nose. I'm gonna have his nose pointed that way. Like I said, it sits right here in the center. It was a little bit rounder than old Charlie Brown's. In fact, he is very similar design-wise to Charlie Brown's. You're going to see a lot of similarities as we're sketching here. Nice round nose. Round shapes always make for friendlier characters. Harsh angles make good villains in your cartoons. Okay, now for the ears. And this is pretty cool about all Peanuts characters. The bottom of the nose always lines up with the top of the ear. So coming straight across from the bottom of the nose, I'm going to draw another C curve here. That's going to be his ear. See how the top of it's right there? That's true of every Peanuts character, except for Snoopy. And I guess Woodstock, he's a bird. Those rules don't apply to him either. I'm going to make this one just a little bit smaller. His nose is pointed that way. His cheek would be in front of that ear. We're just seeing a little less of it. How you guys doing? You should have a cute circle with a nose and some ears. Now let's wake him up. Now the eyes on all Peanuts characters go in the same place too just below the top of the nose and right next to it. Boop, boop. The real trick here, gang, keep these close to the nose. If they get above it or start drifting out, your character's gonna start looking a little more grown up. Now his eyes are little itty bitty circles. The best way to think of this, treat it as another shape. It's not just a dot. This will give you a little more control over it. And when you got it the way you like it, er, I'm really pushing down with my pencil here. Color this in dark. You really want this to stand out. You always want your viewer or your reader to look your cartoon character right in the eyes. He's looking at you. Now I'm gonna have this guy in a good mood. Generally when you smile, your cheeks go up and a lot of times so do your eyebrows. That's the next feature I'm gonna add are the eyebrows. These go directly above the eyes on little Franklin here and here. And I'm just gonna add a, there are little dash is really all they are. I'm gonna put a little slight angle on them. They're not a line going right over. His eyes are going up. Whoa, my friends are here to see me. This guy's almost always in a good mood. He's always talking about his grandpa too. My grandpa always says, I guess his grandpa's pretty wise. Now for a smile on this little fella. 
Now the cool thing is, the mouth lines up with the bottom of the ears. So I'm gonna give myself one more guideline here. Mm -hmm. See, very light. Guidelines are your friend. Things always line up with each other. If you can look at the shapes in the real world and see how they line up, it'd be a lot easier to draw them. And the corners of his mouth are just a little past the center of his eye. His eyes here, I'm gonna cut just a little bit. You can give him a regular closed mouth. I'm gonna open his mouth up. This dude's got something to say today. He's happy. Big curve. Maybe there's a big baseball game today. Ta-da. All the Peanuts gang love to play baseball. Except Lucy doesn't really understand the rules. I like listening to her talk about it. Now to open this mouth, all I'm gonna do is draw a letter U right underneath here. Ta-da! This is a great way to open your cartoon character's mouths up. See, this doesn't go up. The mouth goes down underneath it. Hey, Charlie Brown. Franklin is in one of my favorite cartoons ever, 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 the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. I'm gonna shade this in here too. Now we're shading. Tim laying the pencil down sideways here. It's gonna go back and forth here, a little tone. See, the inside of his mouth would all be in shadow. Otherwise, if you don't do this, it looks like there's just a moon on his face. Shade this in here. Treat your pencil like a crayon. Woohoo! See how much he looks like Charlie Brown? We could just draw that squiggle. But Franklin has got much cooler hair than Charlie Brown. Franklin's hair is curly, and it sits up here on the top of his head, and here's how it lines up. You find his eyebrows, come right over, there. Find the eyebrow, come over, there. That's where that hair is gonna go. Basically, it's a little hat of hair that sits up here. It's just these curls, and on the top and the center are where the largest curls are. So sitting right up here, watch this. Boop. Just a big round, nice and round. A big one there. Another one over here, and then maybe a smaller one. The three most prominent ones always kind of ride right across the top. Bumpity, bumpity, bumpities. Then I'm going to go over some smaller ones on this, the sides of that. You can have them overlap each other a little bit. I'm going to cover that one up with another one here. Bring them down a little bit. Here we go. Now, for the inside of the hair, I'm going to make bumpies, too. So you just follow the curve of the circle here. See, this is sitting on top of this. Rocking the curls. Here we go. Now, to fill in this texture here, remember when we drew Sally, if you drew Sally with us, we draw little curly swoops to fill this in? I'm going to do the same thing here in Franklin's hair, but I'm gonna do it a little closer together. Just check this out. Pencil hurricane. Loopy, loopy, loopy. The closer you make these, you see the darker it'll get. If you get a little bit of a darker tone in the loops here, it'll look like there's a highlight of the light shining on the top of his head. You can play with this little technique. Charles Schultz would do this with a pen as he filled this in. All of his work was pen and ink and he was a master of it. I love the squiggly lines that he drew these characters with. Even the doghouse in the buildings had a squiggle to the line. A lot of personality in the Peanuts comic strip. Yeah, we're starting to look less like Charlie Brown. You guys having fun? All right. Now I'm just going to darken in the old circle down here. Starting right on the edge of the hair. And again, the thing to think of, I'm not writing one line. I'm just going over the, I'm still sculpting and shaping this. This is a bit of a finishing line. It's not the beginning one we started with, but I'm not writing one definite line. There we go. Charlie Brown first met Franklin on a beach. Charlie Brown was building this really lousy sandcastle and Franklin came along and helped him. There we go. Darken that in too. Now, to make this a little more portrait-like, I'm gonna add his collar underneath here. I love doing that when I draw my Peanuts characters. Right below the nose, and this is just as wide as the nose is, draw these two straight lines here. All the Peanuts characters have a skinny little neck. Let's move you up a little bit there. They have a skinny little neck and a little triangle-shaped body with these potato feet. So that's his neck. And underneath here, 
I'm gonna close this with a curve. He wears a shirt with a collar, and it's a rounded collar. And I'm gonna copy this line again, just below it. Artists would call this a studied line. And then you connect them. Here we go. He wears these cool pants with stripes on them too. And the last thing I'm gonna do is a little bit of shading. Now remember how we shaded in the mouth? I'm gonna use the exact same technique for his skin tone, but here's the trick gang, keep this light. The main thing is, we don't wanna go as dark as we did on the hair or the mouth, cause you're gonna completely cover up this face. I'm not gonna use the point of the pencil, I'm gonna use the side of it. Check this, I'm gonna lay it down sideways, and very lightly, I'm hardly pressing down, I'm gonna go back and forth, filling in the tone. Now, if you think it's too light, you can go back over it again and add another layer and darken it up. But as a rule of thumb, whenever you're shading anything in a drawing, a sketch, or a cartoon, start light and build up the tone. You can always go from light to dark, but you can't go from dark to light. One of the laws of the pencil. Hey, wait a minute. I think we did this, people. <gasps> we just drew Franklin! Last step. Every artist must do this. Sign your work proudly. Sketch school graduates, you have just drawn Franklin. Man, I wish I had a friend like Franklin. I dig that kid's 70s style pants. Well, thank you so much for drawing with us here today at Sketch School. And until the next time, stay sketchy.